Hey folks, uh, Mr. Mathlog here. This lesson is adding and subtracting decimals. This is lesson 1-6 in our textbook, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathlog.com. And there's our common course strand for our cool teachers, and then our uh, essential question is uh, how can we, how do we add and subtract multi-digit uh, decimals? So we'll do a few examples in here. So remember you guys, uh, uh, the place value of a digit is uh, in a number shows the value of its digit. So for example, 2.385, I've written that right here, 2.385. 385. The 2 stands for the 1's. The 3 stands for the 10th's, THS. This is the 100's and this is the 1000's spot right here. Okay, so we're going to uh, line up decimals. Just make sure we line up the decimals uh, when we're adding or subtracting and it's just the same as adding or subtracting whole numbers. Alright, so here John gets a puppy for his birthday. He is recording the weight of the puppy as it grows. So last month his puppy weighs 2.358 pounds. If his puppy gained 1.08 pounds, how much does it weigh now? Okay, so how do we know whether to add or subtract the weights given here? Well, since he weighed this much and he's gaining this much right here, the word gained tells us we're going to go ahead and add those numbers right together. Okay, so let's go ahead and add 2.358 plus 1.08. Let's estimate first. It's always good to make a good estimate right here. I'm going to round this to 2.5 and round this to 1. So 2.5 plus 1 is going to give us 3.5 so as long as we get an answer that's close to 3.5 then we can say our answer is a reasonable answer okay so here we go now what I like to do and I noticed your textbook does too is they like to put a zero there you don't have to put a zero there but they put a zero there for place value and then we're just going to add straight down right there okay so here we go add the thousands first so 8 plus 0 is 8 okay now we're going to add uh, the hundredths and then add the tenths and then add the ones right here okay so here we go let's add the hundreds tenths and ones okay so five plus eight is thirteen do you remember what we do with the one and the three the three goes down here and the one goes up here for thirteen so it's called regrouping so we're regrouping uh, the 13, the, the, the 1 for the 13 up above the next column to the left right here, okay? So here's our 13 right there. So now we're going to go ahead and add 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3 is going to give us that 4 right there. And then there's nothing to regroup or nothing on top, so 2 plus 1 is, is 3. Okay, so now we're going to compare our estimate with our sum, okay? So here's the estimate, 3.5. Here, a motorcycle going by. Uh, since it's close to 3.48, uh, then our answer is a reasonable answer right there, okay? All right, so the puppy now weighs 3.438 uh, uh, pounds. I think I said it wrong the last time. So 3.438 pounds. That's how much that puppy weighs. So was it necessary to add the zero after the 1.08 to find the sum? Not necessarily, you guys. I mean, you can leave a blank spot there, and then you're left with 8 plus nothing. Well, 8 plus nothing is the same as 8 plus uh, zero. It still gives us 8. So explain how um, uh, place value helps us add up numbers. Well, we got to make sure these decimals are lined up and as long as those decimals are lined up then we just go ahead and add straight down like we would with whole numbers right there so just make sure the decimals are lined up and then uh, place a zero if you need to and then go ahead and add okay so the world's smallest bird is called the bees humming the bee hummingbird you guys have probably seen some uh, yeah, eating uh, sucking some nectar out of flowers or some juice out of your hummingbird feeders so it has a mass of about 1.836 grams a new U.S. nickel has a mass of about 5 grams. So what is the difference? Difference means we're going to subtract the difference in grams between the, the mass of the nickel and the bee hummingbird. Okay, so we're going to subtract 5 minus uh, uh, 1.836. All right, so remember we can place zeros to the right of a decimal without changing its value. So 4.85 is the same as 4.8500. And I can add some more zeros if I needed to for place value. Or in our case, we're going to change 5 to 5.000 so we can subtract okay so let's estimate you guys I'm gonna round this to 5 and this is close to 2 so 5 minus 2 is gonna give us something that's close to 3 right there so as long as we get an answer that's close to 3 we're gonna be good okay so here we are 5 minus 1.836 let's add those zeros in there 
Okay, now we got to borrow. We're going to first uh, subtract the thousands first. So we're going to subtract 0 minus 6, then subtract the hundreds, tens, and ones. Well, we can't do 0 minus 6. We have to regroup. We got to borrow from this. Well, we can't borrow from 0. We got to go all the way back here and borrow from the 5 and make that a 4. And what that does is it makes this 0 a 10. Now we can borrow from this 10 and we're going to make that a 9 and it makes the next 0 10. All right, so well, we got to make this a 10. So we're going to borrow from this 10 and make that a 9 and then now we can subtract so 10 minus 6 okay so 10 minus 6 is 4 okay now we're going to subtract uh, the hundred spot so 9 minus 3 is 6 right there now we can subtract the um, did I say hundreds the one spots so now we'll subtract uh, the tenths spots right here so 9 minus 8 is 1 and then finally we can subtract that ones spot the 4 minus uh, 1 is 3 right there okay now since uh, our estimate um, uh, is close to uh, what we got right there we can say our answer is reasonable right there okay okay the bell's gonna ring you might hear some outside noise right there as kids are coming out so I teach at a high school and so some kids are uh, done after the lunch bell and this is my lunch right now anyway so the mass of a nickel is um, uh, the mass of a nickel is how many grams more than the mass of a hummingbird that many grams more than the mass of a hummingbird 3.164 grams more okay so explain how uh, we can use the inverse operation to check our answer of 5 minus 1.836 well since we subtracted then we can go ahead and add our answer to the number that we subtracted and it should get us back to the big number 5 right there and you can see I did that over here and regrouped all these ones because 4 plus 6 is 10 so I did carried the 1 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 3 is 10 and we get another 10 and we, we end up getting 5.000 so that's how you can check your answer all right so here's another example evaluate 6.5 minus 1.97 in parentheses and then we're going to add 3.461 using the order of operations okay our order of operations says we have to do the parentheses first so let's subtract 6.5 notice we added a zero right there 6.50 minus 1.97 okay all right so now I can't do um, 0 minus 7 so we have to borrow from the 5 and make it a 4 okay so here we go we're gonna borrow from the 5 make it a 4 and then this 0 becomes 10 right there okay so 10 minus 7 is 3 and then we're gonna do uh, 4 minus 9 we can't do 4 minus 9 so we'll borrow from the 6 and make this a 5 and make this 4 a 14 okay um, uh, so there's that right there so now we can do 14 minus 9 14 minus 9 is 5 and then we can do uh, this 5 minus 1 notice the decimals right there 5 minus 1 is 4 right there okay now we're not done that's just this part right there so the answer to this part is 4.53 so now we still have to add on to 3.461 okay so here we go notice I carried a 0 so we can add up the decimals right there and then we just add okay 0 plus 1 is 1 3 plus uh, 6 is 9, 5 plus 4 is 9, and then 4 plus 3 is 7. So 7.991 right there, okay? All right, and then uh, so the value of this expression right here is just 7.991, all right? So hey, describe how adding and subtracting is... Uh, uh, adding and subtracting decimals is like adding and subtracting whole numbers well we add and subtract from the right to the left so the regrouping is the same so just make sure that your decimals are lined up and you guys should be good to go all right you guys i hope that made sense and take care and be nice to your teacher